guys, welcome back to today's video. So today I'm gonna be sharing with you guys my current beauty favorites. I haven't filmed like any makeup related videos in such a long time and partially it's because I haven't been wearing makeup as much just since moving to college. I don't know, I just like don't really wear makeup a lot of the times. Like when I go to class, my classes are super early and I just don't really put the effort in. A lot of things I'm sharing with you guys are things that like are part of my daily routine which is pretty simple these days and if you guys want me to film an updated makeup routine let me know because it's definitely very simple and quick but I definitely have some really good things to share with you guys things that are great for like the spring and summertime which is coming up so if you want to see what I've been loving then just keep watching so I want to start off with skincare I just have two things to share with you guys so first things first I have been loving this Clinique moisturizer. Uh, it's the Clinique Dramatically Different Moisturizing Gel. This is really great if you have oily skin because it's very light and the gel consistency really um, sinks into the skin very quickly. It doesn't clog your pores and it doesn't feel heavy on your skin because I know a lot of the times when you have oily skin, it just I feel like things just feel really heavy and a lot of the times we're a lot more prone to breakouts and sensitive and I just feel like this literally just feels like water almost but it's just very comfortable again it sinks in very quickly it doesn't break me out and it doesn't like have any scent or feel heavy it really is a great moisturizer I usually will use this morning and night before I go to bed and when I wake up after I use my cleanser and everything and I love it so I have nothing bad to say if you have oily skin and you're looking for a good moisturizer definitely check this one out I also have been loving the Mario Badescu facial spray with aloe chamomile and lavender and I've had this for a while I kind of would just like use it every now and then but I kind of feel like I have a purpose for it now if that makes sense I love this on days where my skin's feeling a little extra dry. Recently, it's been kind of cold here in Tallahassee, and I was like traveling to New York a couple times, and my skin was just really dry, and so this is great just to kind of give it a nice little boost. I also love using this before I go in with makeup application. I just feel like makeup sits nicer on the skin after I spray this on. You can also spray this after you're all done with your makeup just to kind of make your makeup look less powdery, which is great. So there's a lot of uses for this. I also, one more use we'll use this on my beauty sponge every now and then like when I feel like it's not as damp just to kind of freshen it up when I'm blending in my foundation or my concealer just again it does it helps everything look less cakey if that makes sense so really great product this one in particular the lavender one's my favorite it smells really nice and it's very like soothing to the skin so definitely check that out if you're looking for like a good facial mist okay on to the good stuff I have a couple of makeup goodies to share with you guys for foundation I've actually started using a new one which is crazy this is the covergirl vitalist healthy elixir and it says it has spf 20 and vitamins and stuff with it infused and i really didn't think i was gonna like this because i heard it was better for dry skin um it definitely is more of like a dewy finish but i still love it and it works great on my oily skin so if you're oily and you're kind of wanting something that's not as matte definitely check this out i feel like a lot of times when you have oily skin you're just very quick to go to something that's matte but I feel like it can be like too much too full coverage too cakey looking and I don't always want that like sometimes I just really want like a nice natural finish on the skin but I also don't want to worry about like breaking out or getting too oily throughout the day and this really is a great foundation for all those things so if you want your your foundation to look a little bit more natural and dewy check this one out it's definitely more of like a medium to full coverage kind of buildable and it just feels really nice on the skin it definitely has like a nice sheen I'm actually not wearing it so I don't know why I'm talking like I am um, but it's great if you feel like it's too much of a do definitely you can just set it down I'm in the shade buff beige in case you're wondering it's amazing it has a nice pump um, it's pretty affordable you can get it at the drugstore and yeah highly recommend checking it out okay, so for concealer this is definitely like a big throwback this is the MAC Pro Longwear Concealer and I have the shade NC20 I had stopped using this for a very long time because I don't know, I just like forgot about it to be honest with you, but I recently brought it with me on my trip, my New York trip, and I fell back in love with it. It's very full coverage, a little bit goes the furthest way, but yeah, I definitely have a specific purpose that I love it for. So recently my makeup routine, this is not it by the way, I went a little extra today, but normally my makeup routine recently consists of just concealer, powder foundation, and like mascara and lip gloss. 
And so what I will do is I'll first start off with concealer and put it in the areas where I want to like brighten up. So like under my eye area, usually like down here a little bit, nose, chin. And then I'll also like spot conceal with this in just like a couple areas to conceal like any redness or little blemishes. And this is very full coverage, like conceals everything. So I do that first and then I'll go in with another one of my favorites. This is the Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless Powder and I use the shade 220 and I'll take a buffing brush and apply this to the rest of my face and it just gives the most beautiful like naturally pretty skin like it looks like your skin but like a hundred times better doesn't look like you're wearing too much I just I absolutely love it it's beautiful I also love this powder just for touch-ups throughout the day so I normally will just keep this with me in my bag it's also just great for like super natural days when you just want to like throw a little bit of powder on and lip gloss and get out the door. I love this. I seriously love it. I mean, if you can't tell, I've already hit like massive pan on it, but love this. Love the matte concealer. I don't know. I've just been like rediscovering things in my collection and they're good. They're good. I also wanted to share two blushes with you guys that I've been loving. So recently I've been, I guess I've been more about like the dew. I don't know why. I just kind of love that like fresh skin healthy skin look and so these two blushes have just been like my absolute favorites and I've rediscovered them and I'm just in love they're perfect for the spring and summertime and they just give like the most beautiful healthy flush to your face so first we have a cult favorite it's the Milani Luminoso I have absolutely no idea how this did not just crack it but it didn't it's fully intact so the packaging must be stellar um but yeah so this is milani's luminoso blush it's just like the most beautiful peachy pink with a nice beautiful sheen to it but it just has the most beautiful like natural glow to it hopefully you can see it i'm sorry if my lights wash it out but i absolutely love this blush it's beautiful it goes with like any look it's perfect for the spring and summertime like i said and it's super affordable but if you're feeling a little bougie and you want to spend a couple extra bucks i also have been loving nars's orgasm i have this little baby one that i got i don't know how but it's just like a little bit deeper and more pink than um luminoso but this is just beautiful it's what i'm wearing today this one has some more like chunky gold flecks in it than luminoso um, but I love it. It just looks really pretty in the spring and summertime and it just kind of gives some life back to your face. So I kind of went all out for this video today and I like put on eyeshadow, which I really never wear eyeshadow anymore, which is kind of sad because it's my favorite part of makeup. But again, I just like haven't been really wearing a lot of makeup. But I did want to recommend a palette to you guys that I love for the spring and summertime and that I just have been using whenever I wear eyeshadow because it's just been like my favorite. It's very affordable and I think everyone needs to go get it. So it's from ColourPop. You can go get this at Ulta. You can use like coupons and everything. It's the Dream Street Kathleen Likes palette and first off the packaging is beautiful i love it it's also really small and compact so if you travel a lot this is a great one to like travel with and this is what it looks like when you open it up it's just an extremely beautiful palette i feel like it's very versatile you can do so many different looks with it um this look i have on my eyes today i used this palette entirely for and i'm just obsessed there's some really pretty neutral shades you have like a pretty coral some blues Lots of like really pretty shimmery fun colors. It's just, it's amazing. Definitely go check it out. Go swatch it. It's beautiful. I'm obsessed. The They blend like a dream. Um, they last all day and I just love the packaging. I love it. I also have a highlighter I wanted to share with you guys. So again, I've been all about like that natural dewy look. And this one's from Essence. It's the Pure Nude Highlighter in Be My Highlight. This is kind of like a little bit older now. I feel like a lot of people have talked about this in the past. But I recently again have rediscovered it and I'm obsessed with it. It just gives like the most beautiful like natural sheen to your skin. I'm actually going to put it on my collarbone so you can see just what I mean. I'm just gonna pop some of this on the collarbones so you can kind of see what I mean by like just the most natural pretty like effortless glow. So you can just see here like now it just gave me like a really pretty natural glow. But yeah as you can see it just gives like the most beautiful natural effortless glow. So if you're wanting like a highlight but you don't want it to look like you're wearing one definitely check this one out. It's great. It's very it's one of those ones where it's like you're glowing but it looks like you're glowing from within which i personally love so and it's like five dollars so again really affordable definitely one to check out at the drugstore okay and then i also want to share a lip gloss with you guys so this is one of my top two favorite lip glosses ever i'd probably say it's a tie with the fendi the original shade that came out and i would honestly say that they're pretty 
similar dupes for one another so if you don't want to go out and spend a bunch of money on the Fenty one definitely check this one out because I've had it I've repurchased this one probably three times now and it's just my favorite I always have it in my bag it's my go-to when I'm working if I'm in school if I'm going out like it's just like a very universal lip gloss so I'm wearing it right now with nothing underneath it and it just kind of is like your lips but better and just like makes it look nice and juicy it's the Revlon super lustrous lip gloss in rosy future and it just has a bunch of really tiny tiny shimmer in it so when the light hits it it just gives like that really pretty glossy shiny lip but there's no chunky glitter or anything like that like it looks very natural and the shade just really enhances your natural lip color which I love and again it's like six dollars at the drugstore you really can't beat it I'm honestly gonna put some more on because I'm obsessed with it it's just the best so if you want like the best drugstore lip gloss or best lip gloss ever definitely go check this out oh I wanted to mention it's also it's not sticky or anything like that like I can't stand a sticky lip and the Fendi one I do find to be a little bit more sticky than this one so if you don't like sticky lips if you want something like very natural wearable just like good to put over anything or on its own go get you some Revlon Rosy Future. So we're finally at the end of this video, but I did want to mention to you guys one last favorite of mine, and this is actually a fragrance. So I got this around Christmas time in like a little set, but I'm pretty sure you can buy this like all year round because it is one of their signature scents. I also have the perfume, but I wanted to recommend to you guys the um, fragrance mist it's cheaper it still smells so good I feel like it lasts a pretty good amount of time and it's the Victoria's Secret bombshell fragrance mist and I love the bombshell scent in general it's just really feminine and sexy and just like perfect for like a date night or like hanging out with friends going out like for a night on the town it's definitely like one of those kind of scents like I don't know if I'd be pulling up to class with this because you might have all the boys around you. No, I'm just kidding. But it's definitely like a really, really good one. I also love teas, but I like this one in the fragrance mist better. So I just want to recommend it. It's something that I've been wearing a ton and I get a lot of compliments whenever I wear this. Everyone's always asking and I don't know. It's just amazing. Definitely like just go get the fragrance mist if you like don't want to spend the money on the perfume yet and you kind of want to see if you like it. I feel like that's a good way to try it out. It won't last as long, but you can kind of get an idea for like how the scent smells on you so that concludes this favorites video I know I kind of like rambled on about a bunch of different things I feel like I have a very hard time collecting my thoughts in videos so I'm gonna try and work on that but hopefully you guys were able to get some ideas and be sure to let me know down below like what your favorites have been because I'd love to know and I will see you guys in my next video bye